a very good morning students this is the time to dissect the male external genitalia the male external genitalia as you are seeing here consist of the penis which is the male copulatory organ this is the penis it consist of the scrotum which are muscular bag and the contents of this scrotum will be the testes epididymis and the uh, spermatic cord okay and then we will learn also about the testes later on so now in this video short video i am going to tell you about the uh, penis okay the penis as i said is a male copulatory organ which is okay suspended from the pubic symphysis it is very in front of the scrotum it lies just in front of that of the scrotum now this penis is a cylindrical structure when it is flaccid but when it is erectile due to the engorgement okay due to the filling of the blood into the erectile tissue of the penis it becomes triangular in i mean to say cross section okay okay now this penis has the two parts the part of the penis consist of the root of the penis which is not seen here which will lie behind this scrotum on the inferior surface of the urogenital diaphragm that means in the root and then whatsoever is hanging from the pubic symphysis okay when it is flaccid that is called as the body of the pubis so at present we are going to dissect the body of the pubis we will not dissect the root of the penis and this root of the penis will be dissected along with that of the perineum dissection now this uh, root of the penis as such consists of the two crus of the penis are the two crura of the penis which are attached to the conjoint ischio pubic ramus <coughs> and then there is a median single bulb of the penis which is attached to the inferior surface of the perineal membrane so the bulb and the crura of the penis they form the root of this and through this uh, bulb also travels the urethra okay and then when this cross of the penis the crura of the penis on from two sides and that of the bulb of the penis they come to the sim pubic symphysis they uh, form the body of the penis and here they are called as the corpora spongiosa that is the bulb of penis continuous as corpora spongiosum and that of the cross of the penis is called as the corpora cavernosa in the penis as we will see in the internal structure of the penis now the penis as i said the flaccid penis has a dorsal surface and a ventral surface there is a midline i mean to say a groove a not groove that is the uh, uh, markings that which continues with that of the scrotum down below up to the anus that is the uh, that define that right and the left side also of that of the scrotum now when we see the parts of the body of the penis then we will see that this is the cylindrical body of the penis okay and then this is skin of the penis continuous forward and covers to the part of the anterior most part of the penis called as the glans penis okay so there is the body then anterior most part which is here is covered by the four skin or the prepuce this four skin is called as the prepuce which is covering to that of the glans of the penis okay so there are the three parts the body the neck and the glans of the penis on to the anterior aspect of the glans of the penis okay there is a opening of the urethra and this is the external urethral meatus okay and this is a vertical slit i will just show you after cutting a section of this glans penis and this urethra passes through the corpus spongiosum okay and this corpus spongiosum which is giving passes to the urethra is the common passages for the urine as well as for that of the semen for that of the semen now if we 
beside this body of the penis okay deep to the skin will lie that of the superficial fascia and this superficial fascia deep to the skin is devoid of the fat there is no fat thus the superficial fascia will contain only the loose areolar tissue and then still deep to this loose areolar tissue there will be what is called as the fascia of buck b u c k or it is the deep fascia which is continuous here as a membranous layer in the lower abdomen as the membranous layer of the superficial fascia which become little tougher and is called as the box fascia so i will dissect the nerves and blood vessels which lies on to this dorsal aspect of the penis okay that and will then come back to show you this penis and the glans penis and will take a section of the penis also okay so i will come after few minutes welcome back students now i have removed the skin from the dorsal aspect of the body of the penis and expose that prepuce or the fore skin to expose the glans penis and then this is the margin posterior margin of the gland spanish what is called as the corona glandis and deep to this i mean say posterior to this or distal to this there is the uh, neck of the penis so this is the body this is the neck and this is the gland spanish on the tip of the gland spanish you can see a vertical slit which is the external urethral opening or meatus where the i have just put the tip of the forcep is here okay on the dorsal aspect just deep to the skin there is no fat at all and these are all loose areolar tissue in the superficial fascia is just made up of the loose areolar tissue as you can see here and in the central part of this superficial fascia just beneath the skin we got this the superficial dorsal vein of the penis this is superficial dorsal vein of the penis and either side it is just accompanied by very faint a very narrow artery and that is superficial dorsal artery of the penis now whatsoever membranous structure which is seen deep to this uh, superficial fascia here is that the deep fascia or that is called as the box fascia okay which is in continuity with that of the membranous layer of the lower abdominal superficial fascia okay what i am going to do is that after removal of these vessels i will go deep to this fascia okay the deep fascia or what it is called as the box fascia and will try to dissect a deep dorsal vein of the penis deep dorsal vein and the deep dorsal arteries which are quite larger in size so deep dorsal artery and deep dorsal vein and if possible the now i will also dissect so i will come after 2 minutes